Hello, welcome to today's vlog. It is a uh, Wednesday. We are headed to Hudson's swimming therapy. Took a couple of weeks off. My last two videos were videos about Hudson getting involved with the KU women's softball team. Uh, those videos have not performed very well, so apparently you guys don't like uh, don't like that content. So don't know don't know what you guys like, but I'm whatever making a making a regular old regular old headed to swimming we are trying out i don't even know if this works or not but i've got this uh i've got this new wireless mic so trying that out to see uh to see if it works see see what that does for the sound especially when we are in the van it's always bad sound in the van so now let's give this a shot. Anyway, gonna get her into swimming and then when we get back, um, I, they'll probably be there when we get back, but a mud jacking company is coming by to raise our driveway slab that leads into our garage. In the last year and a half or two years, well, let's just say two years ago, the garage slab and the edge of the garage going into the garage were level with each other and it is now an inch and a half or two inches of a lip there which makes it really hard getting Hudson into the garage because I've got to kind of get a run up and she has to bounce over the lip don't you kid it's almost like we're gonna break your wheels when we slam up against that thing I don't know how much uh, how much they're gonna block us going in and out but We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get her on the bus. I will say this. So I haven't shared with you guys. I, for a little over two months, I want to say the it was at the beginning of February, I started working out with a trainer. And I feel so good. I've been burning a lot of calories, and I've been feeling great. Just trying to get healthy again. Been busy. Just felt like taking a couple of weeks off. It's a little bit depressing when... Uh, videos don't perform as well because I'm I don't know I I put Hudson in the thumbnail and videos always do well I actually put her in the thumbnail of the last couple of videos and they they didn't perform whether it was because the colors were different because I always use that purple and white for the wording and now I've been using the red and blue and white and yellow because those were KU colors I'm going to make content that I want to make, and uh, if people don't want to watch it, well, it's still something I can watch <laughs> later on, because again, this video is really just a time capsule of my life as a special needs dad. So it'd be nice if it, uh, if it was monetarily feasible, but it is, it is proving to not necessarily be. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get rich making these videos, I'll, I'll tell you that. In fact, that's a little bit of what affects me not making videos is the the ROI the return on investment so what is the ROI on my time spent well for one filming the really the inconvenience of filming and for two the time it takes to edit and upload and then just the, the barriers that YouTube puts up. I uh, I do think what I should do is start making some short form content because that tends to be what everybody's looking for nowadays. That's why TikTok is so popular. And I'm sure a lot of you, when you go on YouTube, watch YouTube Shorts, which is just YouTube's version of TikTok. Let me know what you think in the comments about uh, what kind of content you want me to make, what kind of content you tend to watch, and uh, we'll see we'll see what I can do about it in the future. I'm never gonna stop making this type of content just because, like I said, it's really for us. It's just, uh, I, I let you guys see it. So these are like home movies. <laughs> All right, I, uh, I'm gonna turn the radio back on. We're gonna head down the highway and get her to swimming. So let's uh, see how this goes. house 
I uh, couldn't find my key to the bacon. So that's what made us run a little late. Yeah, they are all right. A couple minutes difference. Not that big of a deal. We've been coming here for before Dominic was born. I, I want to say right around the same time of him being born. Maybe, maybe a month or two before. Hudson is quite a bit heavier, seeing as she was basically two years old when we started therapy here. Yeah, two. When you were two, you didn't weigh much. Now, let's see, he's about 93 pounds. Just a huge difference, isn't it, kid? Yeah, big difference. Figuring out how to uh, transfer her. Her therapist, Jessica, has come up with what I really think is a good, however, temporary solution. So, this is our temporary solution, which has me thinking we need to get one of these for our house because it is a Riften toileting chair. Oops, sorry, I got your back kid. There you go. What? You okay? Did I bump your elbow? I'm sorry, did I bump your elbow? Good morning. Good morning. How are we? We're good, trying to get her in there. Okay. Anything new? Um, for us, no, for, for you, no. <laughs> How's life, Jan? <laughs> <laughs> for, for, nothing new for you. Okay. So it rules really easily. However, Jessica still has to uh, pick her up to carry her into the pool. So it's quite the quite the lifting job. I am right-handed, so I would be on that side of her. Jessica it turns out is left-handed, so she gets on this side of her. But look. Hudson's all comfortable in that chair, so if we got one for home, since we do enemas probably at least once, if not two to three times a week, we could uh, we could actually use one of these over the toilet at home. Yeah, good job, Jessica. <laughs> it's still a bit of a journey to get her get her in the pool. It'd be so cool, of course, probably impossible, but it'd be so cool if that was a ramp instead of stairs. Then she could just roll her right down. <laughs> Man, she loves to go swimming. Anyway, she's about done. I'm getting her all set up here. I always grab one of their towels lay it down and then bring our own towel. So this is to for under her and then I dry her off and get her all changed. So should be here in a minute. When we get back home and look at this mud jacking job, see how they're doing. Also <laughs> bald. And the mud jacking guy just showed up and it's American mud jacking. So actually he asked if I would move the van 
from that spot so he could pull up in here. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get Hudson out uh, to the sidewalk and I'll go next door for the bus or, or that way, I don't know. So basically they're gonna fill those holes up. So what he's making out here is combining the dirt and the water. What? Oh, I'm going backwards, I'm used to doing it this way. So he's combining the dirt and then he's got a hose going back here to the house. And then it will go into that thing, which is a pump. And that will have the hose poked in there and it will inject the mud into underneath the soil or underneath the concrete and it will swell out. So like inflating it like a balloon. So he said the reason he's having to cut that rubber strip out of that, uh, the, the joining between the driveway and the, the garage concrete is our concrete is only about an inch and a half and it's supposed to be three inches. When they poured driveways in our subdivision, they shortened up the concrete that they used around here. So he said, because it's so thin, if there's resistance from that rubber seal between the two, that it could crack the driveway at that point. So he has to remove the resistance for when he lifts it and then they're gonna have to put, we have to put a new seal in there. So see, if you look at this one, that's easily longer than my finger. But if you look at this one, my finger goes past the point. It is after school. Driveway's all done. This guy, or this guy, this girl had a good day. Her temperature got a little low, but she's been awake, so maybe it was just because it's been so cold out. I don't know. Hey, you awake for us or what? Hello, duty scoots. I'm gonna get her downstairs, get her in her comfy chair. Domic, gonna be home in about half an hour, 45 minutes. Noisy. But yeah, that's about it for the day. The, oh, hold on kid. There we go. I always have to get her just right so that this will close. Uh, it's about 3.30. The nurse gets here at 5.45, six o'clock. Takes over for the evening. I am going to make, actually it's like pre, it's like packaged stuff. We're, we're having some Indian food. I think we're having chicken birani tonight. I got it from Costco. It's like Suki, Suki's brand, I think. Delicious stuff. We have a bunch of their things. This is the first time we've had their chicken birani. But uh, yeah, nothing to write home about for a Wednesday evening. So, hey kid, doing this one-handed. Oh. Are we good? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> got her cord caught on her wheel. Hold on, kid. I got to pause this. Okay. There we go. Got it all paused. By the way, eh, see this? All right. I have a big picture of Hudson where you can see her. 4.9. This one, Hudson's in it, but you can't see her. And it's three weeks ago versus two weeks ago, only 2.9. Because apparently you can't see Hudson. It doesn't get the views. Look. Oh, look, you can see Hudson clearly. It doesn't. Let's look down here. No, Hudson, 3.3. Hudson, 30,000. No, Hudson, 3.8. Let's see. Uh, clearly see Hudson, 13,000. Hudson, 9.8.
Hudson, 6.8. What do we got here? Hudson, 6.2. No Hudson. That's a good one, though. You can still see Dominic. Hudson, 26. I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to remind you guys that to the world, you may be one person. Hello. Hey. Are you going to sleep? Now you're all worn out, all that swimming and all that schooling you did. Yeah. I'm going to remind you guys that to the world, you may be one person. But to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world. Oops, I ran into her closet with her wheelchair there. Did you say go, Chiefs? Yeah? All right. All right, at least you're talking now, huh? You got anything else to say before I shut this down? Anything at all? No? Yes? Anyway, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching today. And, uh, yeah.